What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers. And what I'm gonna show you today is the app for iOS for the Vantech Nexstar Wi-Fi. And we'll show you how to get it to work and what all it can really do. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna actually wanna connect your iPhone or iOS device to the Nexstar Wi-Fi's um, Wi-Fi access point. So we'll go in here and go into our settings here. And you can see we're connected to my normal access point, but We'll go in here and we'll find Nexstar Wi-Fi. Go ahead and connect to that. So we're connected, get out of there, and then we'll go ahead and go into our Nexstar Wi-Fi app. And it's saved to where I was last time. But when you get into the app, it's gonna show you um, our hard drive, which of course is just named new volume because I formatted it within Windows. Um, that's just what I called it. You'll see that there. We'll go into our settings first. So if you go into settings, you can see about, status, system, network, Wi-Fi, and security. So, you know, status is just gonna show you your SSID, firmware version, connected access point, the LAN IP, and the WAN IP system. Um, you can update your firmware, you can load the defaults, or you can reboot it if it, you know, if something happens and you need to do that. Network, um, you can change your SSID and you can change your file share password. By default, it's set to admin, admin, but of course, if you have, you know, certain files on there you don't want people to see, you can obviously change that. Obviously, you can change your SSID as well. Under Wi-Fi, so this is where you can connect to another access point. So, you know, with this, if you're using the Wi-Fi, it doesn't have an internet connection, but you can share an internet connection with another access point. So if I connect this to, to Think Computers, then while I'm connected to the Nexstar Wi-Fi, I can also go ahead and have that internet access as well. And then under security here, there is, oh, there it goes. Um, security mode, you can turn on different security modes. I'm not actually sure which ones are available. You have WEP, WPA PSK and WPA2. So you have those three in there. So of course, if again, if you have important files on here and you don't want people accessing it, you can go ahead and set up your um, security settings there. Now, also you can pretty much view everything that is on the hard drive. So if we go back here, we can go to new volume and we can see everything that's on there. Now, of course, that's all the files, but if you just want to do photos, it's going to you know, bring up your photos and show you all the photos that you have. Same thing with music and you can search by artist and album if they are tagged. Um, under videos, I will show you all of our videos and my folder is a folder that you can set up. You can upload um, to this, which I'll show you in a second, but let's go in and check out our videos. And these are all Think Computers videos that I put on here. And we'll go ahead and watch one here. Let's do the uh, Sapphire 7790 um, video card. And What's we'll up, guys? bring it up here. And you can see that it plays just fine, no lagging. Let's go ahead and see if we can, let's, let's move up here and see how long it takes to doesn't take that long at all. As you can see, this is a 720p HD video easily being played here. Let's get out of there and put this back down and bring it back down here. So that was pretty easy to do video. Photos are the same way. Pretty much you can go in here and view your photos, you know, just like you would on a normal um, iPhone. Pretty easy. Now, what's one cool thing is that you can upload things to this device as well. So, you know, if you want to upload, you go into my folder, you go into edit, and there is a thing that looks like a little uh, upload. You hit that, and oh, wait, no, you don't. You go back, let's get this out of here. You go back and you hit photos. So you can upload photos and here's all the photos that are on my photo roll or in you know my iPhone. And we'll go into Instagram photos here and I'll select three or four. Let's you know just select a bunch of these photos and we hit done. And now they're gonna go ahead and upload. Um, you do have to select which volume. So if you have a hard drive that's partitioned, you can actually see all the different partitions, but we're gonna just you know upload it normally and there is no folders in there. I don't have any folders, but there, there would be folders listed here if you had it, but we hit done. 
and it's gonna show them uploading just like that. So, you know, if your iPhone or iOS device is getting full, this makes it perfect. You can offload all those pictures that you want and then go ahead and delete them so you can actually take more pictures, which makes it really easy. But this app is pretty pretty easy to use, as you can see. Very intuitive, works really well. Um, I haven't had really any issues with it. Um, you can create new folders within the app as well. So, you know, if I wanted to create a folder, I would just make, you know, whatever folder, folder I wanted to. It works really well. Um, again, you can connect it to another Wi-Fi access point so you can share that internet connection as well. So that is basically it here for our little overview of Vantex um, Nexstar Wi-Fi application. It's available on both iOS and Android.